In this video, we'll talk about the different types of camera animations that can be created within Keyshot. An important distinction between part and camera animations is that camera animations need to be applied to one particular camera or view set. You can see a list of the cameras used in this scene under our scene tree. In my animation timeline, I can use the animation wizard to get a preview of the different types of camera animations. We can create a camera orbit, zoom, inclination, translation, or a camera switch event. A camera switch event is used to change from one camera to another camera within our animation timeline. First, I'll select orbit from my list of options, then hit next. The wizard then asks which camera to apply the animation to. We can select from the list of existing cameras or add a new camera. I'll add a new camera and call it Animation Camera 1, then hit Next. My timeline will now be populated with a default orbit animation of 360 degrees over 5 seconds. I'll also add in some motion easing. When I hit Finish, you can now see the animation sitting in my timeline. I can control the zoom of my animation timeline using the slider and get a preview of the animation by hitting the play button. By default, the animation will loop, which can be disabled. This is also a good time to use performance mode in order to see faster real-time results. Now under my scene tree, you can see that the orbit animation has been applied to my animation camera one. I can enable or disable this animation by toggling the checkbox associated with it. If I set a different camera as my active camera, you will see that the animation timeline no longer has an animation in it. In order to get my camera animation back, I have to have the animated camera as my active camera. I can add another animation to this camera using the animation wizard. I'll select zoom and use the camera I made for the orbit. Since this model was imported respecting the original units, the units in my animation settings will be in millimeters. In this case, I'll increase the zoom to 300 millimeters and add in some motion easing and hit finish. Hitting play will give me a preview of the two animations now applied to that camera. With a camera switch event, we can change cameras in our animation timeline. I'll add another camera to use as a starting point for this animation. I'll use the look at command in my scene tree to center the camera on a particular piece of geometry. Now I'll go to the camera tab in my project window, adjust the camera settings, and save this as a new camera called Animation Camera 2. I'll select the animation wizard again, and let's add another orbit. I'll select our new camera as a starting point and change the degrees to 90 so that we get a slower movement around our specified object. I'll have this animation start at the five second mark so that we can transition to it after our first animation. I'll also add in some motion easing. Let's also add an inclination to this camera using the animation wizard. I'll set a negative value for the rotation, which will move the camera in a downward motion, offset the start to 5 seconds, and add in some motion easing. We can see a preview of the animation by hitting the play button. Now let's add our camera switch event using the animation wizard. First, I'll select my starting camera, hit next, then select the camera that we'll switch to. I'll set the camera switch to 5 seconds so that the switch happens after our first camera animation. When I hit finish, you'll now see that the timeline has an orange dot re representing my switch event. When I make my second camera active, you can see the timeline with the entire 10 second animation represented. When I hit play, you can preview the entire animation with all of the camera movements and transitions. You can find more tutorials 
at keyshot.com learning.